Hello friends, I am Farhan from HLTF Tech and today I am going to uh, tell you about the installation of SharePoint 2019 Enterprise version. Okay, uh, I will cover my, I will split my video into four parts in which I will tell you step by step how you can uh, create SharePoint 2019 Enterprise version. The first of all, uh, in part one, that is, uh, this video is related. Uh, I am going to prepare the Active Directory. Okay. So, the server which I am, uh, which is my domain controller in my uh, on-premise environment is 10.20.30.10. Okay. So, I am going to take the remote of this server. That is my domain controller. And in this domain controller, I am going to search for uh, active directory users and computers here I will define I will navigate to users this is my domain that is hltf.tech and in this domain I have already three uh, uh, windows server 2016 virtual uh, machines that are joined with my domain and uh, these are <coughs> database server FP19 app server and web front end server. I will configure them one by one, but before configuring them, I have to create some users here that would be used to manage the SharePoint installation, SharePoint database server, and SharePoint uh, farm. So, first of all, I will click new, and here I am going to create a user that is sp19 admin okay what will be its username its username will be sp19 admin without space and uh, the i am going to give one specific password here And I'm going to set it password never expires. Okay. So uh, I have created one user. Similarly, I will create two more users that are sp19 farm that would be managed, that would be used for managing my farm of SharePoint sp19 farm and uh, I am going to set password never expires and I am going to give it some unique password ok so one more user that is sp19 db sorry uh, db or you can say spl uh, these users uh, are uh, you can change the name of uh, these users you can define any uh, any username as per your criteria or as per your organization standards i am using basic sp19 sql this user will be used to manage the database and i am going to set the password never expire so i have created three users here the next step will be I am going to log into the database server. This is my database server. Let me show you. Uh, sorry, I have. Uh, I am going in. This is my database server, and here I am going to uh, search for my IP. That is ten. 20 30 11 so its name is not recognized here so if i ping 10 20 30 11 yes it's uh, reachable let me search it in uh, domain controller here just please give me a second so that uh, i may go to dns 
and in DNS this is DNS and in DNS what I am going to see I am going to see the forward lookup zone and here the DB server is defined as 10 20 30 11 so I will also define it in reverse lookup zone so what is reverse lookup zone the reverse lookup zone is to search your to search both your uh, to search your uh, server by IP okay so I ha I hadn't configure this uh, reverse lookup zone that's why its IP was not uh, recognized I am going to create a new pointer and the pointer is 10 20 30 11 and it's DB let me browse it here in this you can see here it is I will uh, assign this pointer and after that you can say I'm going to update the GP update slash ports after that the latest policies of the domain controller are pushed and here now I can search 10 20 30 11 yes wonderful it's recognizable now similarly I am going to search here sorry yes uh, this is my database server it's uh, recognized in the domain by IP as well as by the name so it's also uh, it's also reachable by uh, your domain yes okay that's wonderful so the next step is here you will go to edit local users and groups and in groups the administrator you will add all the users that you have created in the domain previously let me show you uh, these are three users which we have created just now I am going to add these users in the local administrator group of database server okay so let me uh, search here sp19 sorry it's typing mistake it's all of I will add all of these three users here sp19 farm and sp19 sql okay so all, all these three users are added into the local administrator group of my database server I will apply here and this is all about uh, the preparing active directory we have just covered the step uh, the part one in which we have prepared the active directory okay uh, I'm going uh, in my next video I will cover the part two and in part two we will uh, install SQL server and we will also configure it for SharePoint 2019 installation. So guys, please subscribe my channel and continue watching these videos so that I may uh, guide you, I may assist you in installation of SharePoint 2019 enterprise version in your on-premise environment. I thank you all for watching this video.